So if you played the demo, your uh, your builds from the demo are still there, which is really cool. Um, but now, when you go to make a new build, instead of there was previously only summer, now there are different seasons. So there's summer, or seasons or vibes, I guess. Summer, autumn, olden, flowery, <gasps> I'm so excited, and winter. And then also daily theme. Oh, cool. Oh, y'all, I'm going to play this game so much. Today's theme is Mysterious Tower. So you can build, like, if you are a person like me, <laughs> where sometimes you're a little indecisive, you can get, like, a daily prompt, basically. Um, okay, I love all of these. I think I want to take a look at Flowery. We'll, we'll try to look at some of these, um, a few of these today. But uh, let's take a look at Flowery because that sounds really cool. Oh, oh my God. Also, oh, my God. Ah. Okay, it's fine. We're so chill. I love that it starts with a little build so that you get a little bit of like inspiration of kind of what you can do in the game. Um, so this is really similar to how the demo started. But in the demo, there was like a circle around here showing the build area that you had available to you. And all of this area was closed off. But now in the full game, you can go all like there's this huge square that you can that you can build in. Um, so very exciting. I feel like not only can you, oh, I love the area around. Anyways, not only can you make like a single little house um, or like a small little like neighborhood or street, you can make pretty big cities. I've seen already people sharing their builds on uh, like Twitter and stuff and people are making really cool stuff. Um, okay, I'm gonna start by, oh my God, there's so, there's new things. Okay, I'm gonna start by uh, deleting all of this so that we can sort of start fresh with our own stuff. So I'm gonna delete the building and then also delete the path. Um, oh, cool. But then I think, so you can also delete trees. So if you want more space to build in, um, but then you can add trees. Oh, and you can move them around. I moved it right behind my face, which is not ideal, but <gasps> cool. Okay. And then you can draw in flowers and you can change like this. What it, okay, so here's this. If I make it big, oh, it just makes a bigger area of flowers. Cool. And then I didn't realize this, but if you go over the area that you were putting flowers like I put a bunch there but if you do it once you get this sort of like smaller set of flowers if this makes sense but then if you go over it again you get this like it's like a different color of flowers and it's like bushier almost which is kind of cool I really like that I'm just gonna delete it all a really cool and satisfying thing about this game that I really enjoyed is that every time you build stuff like, it's not just like, boom, I've plopped down a thing. Like, you get these really cool and satisfying views when you're building things where it sort of like is coming up and then sort of figuring out what it's going to look like as you're building it. And it's just, I think stuff like that is what makes me want to just sit and play this game for ages. Um, like, also, I just love the way these look. Uh like you can like it just feels like really satisfying to look at okay i'm just gonna make this building because i want to look at some of the other so there's there's customization and in the demo there was only like two different options or three different options you could have like brick and then um these two options like the plaster sort of look or whatever that's called um and then like with or without those markers for the different floors but now there so there's tons more colors of whatever this is i love this like darker um oh this is so cool so you can have you can choose the color of like the different colors of brick or the different colors of the not brick but then you can decide if you want to have like the the wood beams on the building or not or the um like markers for the different floors or not that's really fun 
I really like it. Okay, oh, cool. And there's more stuff. Also, wait, I'm going back to customize. Yes, there are more colors for the roof. So in the demo, there was only like, I think you could do orange or green, but now there's all these different roof colors, which are really pretty. Okay, and then we have the standard windows, which these were in the demo and you can do the like multiple windows and then also click through them to see the different designs, which is cool. But there's also this shaped window. Oh, cool. And the more you do, it just gets larger. That's really pretty and satisfying. So it's like a, I don't know, like a cathedral-y window. I don't know what you'd call that. I'm afraid of calling anything, anything. Um, but that's really cool. And then there are, oh, cool. <gasps> cool. There's like castle, like, I don't know, slits for windows, maybe you could call them. I don't really know what you would call this. Um, oh, cool. And you can make them different sizes. And then the lanterns are not new. Those were in the demo as well. And then, cool. Okay, so these banners are new. <gasps> cool, and if you put them next to each other, they'll have little things. Okay, oh, cool. And then if you click through them, they have different designs. And then I wonder, and then if you click on them with customization, you can have the flags in between them on or off. And then you can change the colors. This is so cute. Oh my God, wait, that's so cool. If you change the color of, if they're different colors, the flags in, oh, I love this game so much. Okay, anyways, we're doing good. We're doing fine. I'm gonna, I am being chill. Also, Oh, cool. So the, oh, cool. You can have chimneys go all the way up the side of the building or come out of the roof. This is new as well, I think. Oh, that's so cool. I love the way the chimneys look. Oh my God. Also, did you see that little bird that was hanging out on the roof for a minute? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. And then you can change the brick color of the chimneys. I wonder, oh, you can change this. I don't I don't know if this was in the demo, like I don't know if this was in the demo and I just didn't notice it, but you can change the way the windows look. Like you can change the color of the wood. Can you change, oh, cool. You can change the lantern. I think someone mentioned this in a comment on one of my videos on YouTube and I just like didn't, I never noticed this, but it looks like you can change the light that it, it's daytime, so you can't really tell. But we can make them purple light. That's so cool. And then, all right, let's see. This is a new one that I've been super excited about. You can add in water. So we can add, and then I think if you get it like up to the building, like the building will sort of just be in the water a bit. Look at the fish. Look at the fish. Oh my God, is that a duck? You can pet the ducks. Oh my God, I love this game so much. You have no idea. Sorry, I'm so fine. I'm so good. I'm totally good. <laughs> you don't have to be chill. This game is so cute. I really am excited about this game. So the, the demo had sheep walking around, but it feels like maybe there's like different animals and different, oh, I love, okay, anyways, that's so cool. Um, the demo also had where you can change terrain. So this still has that. You can put stuff up on a hill and, oh, you can make the water, like draw bigger water or like really small pieces of water. I love it so much. And then, okay, what else? Paths, those are still a thing. Oh wait, I'm still drawing water. <laughs> I can draw a little path. I wonder what happens if you draw a path over the water. <gasps> Look, it makes like stepping stones. 
Are you kidding? That's so cool. Oh my god. <laughs> Bucky, thank you for the clip. Oh my god, I'm so excited about this game. That is so cool. That's so cool. Oh my. What happens if you draw? Oh my gosh. Look at what happens if you draw flowers in the water. Are you kidding? <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> this is so pretty. Let's get a little tree near the house. Let's actually move this one over here. Oh my god, I love this game so much. <laughs> I'm so excited to experiment more, more with this game and like build cool things. I've seen a lot of people talking about like being really excited. Oh my god, there's fences. Wait, I want to see that. I haven't done that yet. Um, being excited about sort of like recreating different builds from like video games and stuff. And I think that's really cool. I love the fish. I love the fences. Oh, you can make them taller or shorter. I wonder if you can adjust the fence. Yes, you can change the color of the fence. I oh, I can make a pink I can make a pink house. We can make like a Barbie castle. That's a thing, right? I wonder if you can customize the doors. You can. Oh, it's so cool. I'm so excited about this game. Oh, okay. Let me... It's so cool. So there's a thing that I feel like I'm noticing a lot about this game in general. Um, there's like so much that you can do in it. Every single time I've played it, even the demo, even just the demo, every time I've played it, I've discovered some new thing. Um, so if you're playing this game, like I highly recommend that you just like click around a bunch and sort of like see what you see. Cause there's always like, I'm, I'm con I've been constantly finding new weird, cool things. Um, I'm going to adjust to nighttime because I want to see those lights. Okay, it is kind of purple. It's like sort of hard to tell because there's so much purple stuff going on here, but that's so cool. I didn't notice that you could, oh, the blue looks so cool. I feel like we can make really like kind of creepy builds with this. That'll be fun. Look at them. Oh, I'm so excited. And look at all the um, lightning bugs. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I'm gonna bring it back to morning. Like, oh, like this, like this time of day in this game is just so beautiful. So you can, a couple things that I have learned while messing around with this game. So this button over here is the one to adjust the like lighting the day. Um, so this top slider adjusts the time of day like we saw, but then this one adjusts the angle of the sun. So if you're trying to get a picture a certain way and you like, like if you built like this and you're like, oh, I don't really like the shadows covering all of that, you can adjust it. So the light is like coming in this way, which is really helpful for pictures. So you can click the picture button and it'll take you into this like photo mode. Um, oh, this is new. That's cool. You can like pick different filters for your photos. <gasps> cool. Okay. All right. Um, but you can change like how much focus you have. What is this? Oh, cool. If you pin that, I think that's new. If you pin it on something, when you move around, it'll keep the focus there. Um, I don't know what this one is. Oh, a, uh, what's it called? A vignette. Um, this is like aperture. It's like how blurry things are when they're not in focus. So like really blurry versus not very blurry. Um, you're like how sort of zoomed in you are kind of. All different cool... Sli oh, these are new. Oh, how, like, vibrant the colors are. Oh, cool. The contrast, I think. And exposure. All the filters. Whoa. Whoa. You can make it look like a painting. 
Or like a... I don't really know what this one looks like. Cool. And like... Oh, you can see through the trees if you want. <gasps> cool. That's really fun. And then, okay, the other cool thing... Oh, whoa. This is new. And I guarantee, like, okay, there have been... Oh, this is so cool. I have heard so many people in comments, like, on YouTube in particular, saying, like, oh, this would be really cool to make, like, a map of a town for, like, D&D &D or something. Um, and, like, they specifically added in this, like, sort of map, like, top-down map view. Like, they know. They know what they're doing. Oh, that's so cool. But you can also have a first-person camera mode. Which is really fun. I want to be here. Um, and then also this, like, sort of... Ca this aerial camera view. Anyways, I like the camera stuff. I think it's really fun. Oh my god, I love this game so much. I'm so excited. Okay, let's do another new one and change to... I'm curious about olden and winter. I feel like autumn I'll also really like, but I think it's going to be similar to summer, but just different colors. Um, I love this game. <laughs> uh, let me check out winter. It's so pretty. And I really like that they have, like... I think there are certain design things that like that I know that people have been curious about because they've left comments on my YouTube videos uh, like how to like if you can have a door like I th feel like having a door here and a door here are things that you might like not think about doing or not know that you could do. So by having them in these little sample builds, I like that it like I, I feel like it sort of like encourages people like, hey, you can do this. Look at the sheep. <gasps> the sheep has a bird on its head. I love them. <laughs> They're so sweet. Okay. Oh my god. And like the... Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna delete stuff and start fresh. Oh, cool. Wow. That was a more complicated build than I realized it was. <laughs> it all makes sense now. I think, yeah, this was like a little path. Okay. Interesting. The path is sort of like melted snow. And so like a really thin path. It's like so subtle. Oh my God, I love that. And then here's a thicker one. I love the paths. I also love the way that it looks when you undo. Um, okay, I wanted to check. I wanna see, okay, so fences are kind of the same, but look at the snow. Like the, the snow just like on your builds. That's so cute. I can't stand it. Oh my God. I didn't, I didn't realize I had like lifted this one off the ground. Also, I'm gonna do like a really quick rundown of like cool controls to know about in this game that people have asked me about before. Um, one, okay. If you right click on a building, you get all of these adjustments that come up. Um, so there's a bunch of stuff here. Uh, these arrows you can use to like make the building a different size. You can also use this bottom button here to just fully move it around. So maybe we'll put it here or here rather. Um, and then you can adjust the roof. You can make it taller. You can use this adjustment spot to make buildings taller or shorter, but also to raise them off the ground. So if you want a building that like doesn't have a first floor, this is the spot to do it. Um, or like sometimes what I've been doing that's been really helpful um, is I've been making like balconies every now and then. And I'll like place a building, right click on it, raise it up, and then connect it with my building. And then adjust it to be like a little balcony. I guess that's kind of a weird spot for a balcony, but you get it. Um, I'm just saying that because other people, like there have been people that have asked about some of those controls and that's how you do it. Enjoy. 
Here's our little balcony. How cute! I love it. All right, what else did I want to look at? Oh, I wanted to see what flowers look like. Okay. Also, do you hear that little like twinkling noise when I place the flowers? That's so fun. And then what does it look like if I do them twice? Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my God. I also want to see what the water looks like. Oh my God, it's like, it's ice. Look at the fish underneath the ice. Hello? Do you see them swimming under there? <laughs> it makes ice ponds. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Look at the, like, the cracks in the ice and the little fish underneath there. Oh my gosh. What happens? Oh my god, you can grow a tree out of the... Oh my god, so sorry, excuse me. Oh, I love the trees. I love the, like, the 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 dead trees. <gasps> That's so cool. Okay, and it makes some sort of, like, dead, dead grass kind of deal in the water if you put uh, flowers in the water. Let me put a little path over the water. Let's see what that does. It does the same thing where it makes these like rocks. I love this game. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I love the plants sticking through the ice. Me too. It's just like, it, lo it looks so good. It looks really beautiful. I want to take so many pictures in this game and build so many things and make so much stuff. Let me just put some... I love these windows. Like, that's so pretty. Can you change? Yeah, you can change them a bit. Oh, that's so cool. It's so pretty. And the banners. And the, we already did that. Oh yeah, let's get it. Oh, whoa. Oh, it was just like putting a chimney all the way on the ground. I was like, what, what is that? It's the smoke. <laughs> okay, but the chimney in the winter. I love it so much. Let me look, I want to look at winter at night. Oh, it's just so pretty. And the stars. <laughs> I can't wait to play more. Ugh, all right. I think I am going to have to leave it here. Let's make it daytime. Um, Because I have to... I have to go soon. I have a little errand that I need to run. So I have to end stream here. Um, Yeah. Yeah. That's what I have to do. Okay. 